Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, this is Judy, and welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and we're back for another week of 1,000 Pound Sisters on TLC. This episode's called There's Something About Jerry, featuring one of my favorite people in the 1,000 Pound Sister universe. Jerry! Tammy's boyfriend, Jerry. Her online boyfriend, Jerry, who we did meet in season one. And also, of course, if you follow the Slaytons on social media, he's been around. I think I included in one of my videos about season two that he's like out here actively still liking all kinds of posts from from Tammy. Um, he, you, you can find him there. If, if I can remember, I'll put up some screenshots of that on the screen so you can see that he's still out here as very recently liking Tammy's posts, okay? And before we get too far into this, I do want to apologize for looking like your lesbian Aunt Nancy who lives in the suburbs. I'm wearing these blue light correcting lenses because I've been staring at a computer screen all day and I it, I, I need them in order to, to stay awake and I'm reading from my notes that are on a computer screen, okay? So lean into the Aunt Nancy realness. Okay, I actually have an Aunt Nancy. I should probably chill. <laughs> and also, we always want to hear what Judy has to say. So Judy, what's up? It needs to be said, Dad. Free Britney. Thank you so much, Judy Lou Who. We love you. You're an angel. You're an icon. Never change. So I also want to address a couple things that happened on social media. And by a couple things that happened on social media, I mean on Tammy's TikTok. One of the things that some people sent to me was a TikTok where she like said, hey, hi, hello, I'm bisexual. Oh, you beg me. Ah. I'm pansexual. I like people of all genders. I love your soul. That's all that matters. There's no limits. I could be with anyone. Did I stutter? I'm pansexual. Which like, maybe for some of you is news. Like if you are new to the Slayton sisters or if you've only watched them on their show or if you only know Tammy from TikTok, then, then you might not know this, but the T is, is she's been bisexual for as long as I've known her on the YouTube. And she's even talked at length about a girlfriend that she had online once upon a time. So the bisexual thing is not any news to me, but I do think it's actually going to come up in this episode and or next week's episode. So I'm interested to see about that. The other thing that happened with Tammy is that on social media, she was out here, I think on both Instagram and TikTok, putting out the PSAs that, hey, she's not dead. I am not dead. I am not on life support. I'm at home. Watching TV. Living my best life. On a budget. <clears throat> I don't know. I know where this reference is coming from, the show. Amy said something about me being on life support. I'm not on life support. Pull the plug, motherfuckers. I'm not dead. The fuck? I know I look ratchet right now. But I don't give a fuck. Like, a lot of people are saying I'm dead when I'm not. Just because I stop messaging so many people back all the time and stop commenting and stop posting doesn't mean I'm dead. I'm still live on TikTok. Mm. <clears throat> Seriously, you stop with this lying shit. What's, what do you get out of lying about me being dead? So I just felt like those are both um, important, relevant updates. <laughs> so, so do with that what you will. But I did want to share that news today. So this week's episode starts off with Amy and Tammy and Michael all decorating for Halloween. To be quite honest, the decorating part, not that exciting to me, but they do have some conversations that are important for setting up what's about to happen in this episode. So... Let's get into it. Basically, Amy's like, I just need to check in with Tammy, make sure she's not mad that uh, Michael and I are going to be moving. And Tammy's like, listen, I assumed you'd probably move at some point. I just didn't figure it'd be this soon. And she also follows up with this lovely dialogue. Bitch, when are you leaving? After the baby's born. Why not tomorrow? 
<laughs> which feels very on par for Tammy, but I'm not convinced that Tammy is actually all like sunshine, giggles, ha ha, laughing, making jokes about it because like the reality is, is Tammy's still gonna struggle to live on her own. Amy also lets us know that she has a doctor's appointment coming up with Dr. Proctor, which does end up happening later in the episode. And then they talk more about their love for Halloween and how Halloween is all year long for them. And Tammy gets a call from Jerry while they're having this conversation. And that's what sets us up for the episode because basically she's like, oh my gosh, Jerry is coming. Jerry is is gonna be here in Kentucky to meet y'all, to meet to meet my whole family and to decide if he loves Kentucky as much as maybe Tammy does, apparently. Now, honestly, Amy looks pretty surprised. Like, she's surprised that this is happening, that he would ever come this way, which is like, I don't know, I get it because she also prefaces that like, Tammy has had a lot of online dating situations and they've never progressed into in-person stuff. But I'm also like, why are you so surprised? Because last year when y'all were filming, he made a trip to Georgia to see Tammy and spend some time in that hotel room. Okay. So I'm just like, why are you surprised? But also, I guess it's like based on their history, <laughs> based on Tammy's history, it makes sense. So Tammy also lets us know that she met Jerry in a BBW group, which stands for Big Beautiful Women, and then clarifies how she identifies within that group. I'm not a BBW. I'm an SSBBW. Super size Big Beautiful Woman. Now what's shocking to me about all of this though is that we're still just like not addressing the fact that Jerry has a wife. <laughs> like we're not, we're not gonna talk about Jerry's wife on this cause like Tammy has talked about Jerry having a wife on her own channel. Okay, it has happened. This is, this is like for real a conversation we've had before. This is, this stuff all came out also during season one. And I think actually, honestly, before the girls were ever on the show. So like, why are we still acting like this isn't a thing? TLC, we know, we know. But overall, Tammy is just kind of worried that like her family's not gonna approve of Jerry and that they won't like her, which, which we do end up seeing kind of <laughs> later on in this episode. So then we have the arrival of Jerry or the process of the arrival of Jerry. We get this little YouTube kind of, what is supposed to look like a YouTube video from Tammy talking about how he's an hour away and she's so excited to see him and that it's like an eight hour drive in total. So it feels like, you know, it's a real journey. It's a real journey for him. It's not a carrot journey. It's not an apple journey, but it is a journey that he is making to come and see Tammy. And Tammy talks about how she's hoping to take their relationship to the next level with this visit. Like he's come in here, it's going to the next level. And I'm just still like, he's married though. And it's an hour later, he still hasn't made it to her home. And I'm just like, uh, the drama, I feel like, I feel like he was probably right on time or maybe something very innocent came up, but you know, TLC milked that. <laughs> they sure milked that. And they said, listen, we're going to make it seem like he might not come, even though we've all seen the previews for this week's episode and knew that he was actually going to come and show up because we're not dumb. We've seen him in the trailer. We saw him in the previews last week. We got it. So two hours later, he finally shows up. He pulls on into the driveway and Tammy says this. As Jerry's pulling in, I'm getting nervous. My butterflies turn into pterodactyls. And wow, we're just so happy that they're all united, that they're all together. <laughs> So Jerry pops up. He has his own confessional, y'all. They've made him an official character. He has a confessional just like Misty and Chris and Michael and Amy and Tammy. So you know what? Look at that. Moving on up. <laughs> you, you better got paid for that appearance on this show, Jerry. Actually, he might have. I wonder. I wonder how that works. 
I wonder, I wonder if that's what enticed him to come participate in this show. Because to be honest, this episode doesn't make him look like a real great person. Just my opinion. Like, it, they paint him out to not have the best interests for Tammy. So he confirms the whole BBW thing and he says, listen, I'm attracted to her personality and her looks. And he's like, I like all kinds of women. And listen, you love to see it. You truly do. I also hope that like you take her health and things like that seriously because a lot of people in her family are very concerned about her well-being. And I have to, I have to be honest with you, what Tammy had to say about Jerry. All I can think about is this lips. You got juicy lips. Why? <laughs> These juicy lips? <laughs> I don't know why, but I cackled. I cackled when that came up. It, I was cackling. Was I cackle? I was cackling. So Jerry talks a little bit about how he's nervous to meet Amy, how he's talked to her on video chat, but that's like way different than like meeting somebody in real life. And then out come Amy Michael and Lil Bit onto the porch, which brings us to the Lil Bit shot of the week. Okay, first of all, Lil Bit was slaying, looked stunning in this little cute little sweater. Loved to see it. And she was perched. You know, she was perched. She was just like, look at me. I'm a model. I'm a puppy model. Look at me. Perched. So Amy is grilling him and she has some really dumb questions. She's like going on about like, do you like arcades? Do you like bowling? Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? But then she's also like, well, how many kids do you have? And he's like, I got six. And then she's like, how many grandkids do you have? And then he had to like actually sit and think. Which, I don't know, maybe once you, he's like, what, 45? Do you start losing your memory at 45? I mean, honestly, I'm 32 and I can't remember shit. So, you know, and and maybe, maybe that's, maybe that's just what it is. But I'm like, you, you don't, you don't know? You, and then he ultimately lands on the number five, which I'm, then I'm like, you got five grandkids that you couldn't remember that? Because I, I was kind of thinking it, it meant that he had a lot of grandkids, you know, like, once you get past 10, they're, they're probably all the same, but five, five? I mean, my, my mom has three grandkids and I couldn't imagine her not being able to answer that quickly. I, I would guess if she added two more onto that, she would still be able to say, I got five grandkids, you know? I don't know, no judge, well, that, that, there was some judgment in that statement. But what I really want to know, what I really want to know is, Jerry, how many wives you got? How many wives do you have? Because Tammy throughout this whole episode keeps talking about marriage and I'm just like, you, girl, you got, he's got to end his last marriage first. So then what is most shocking to me is that Jerry is like rustling around, rustling, rustling, wrestling, rustling, ruffling. One of those words in his hoodie and a producer comes on and they're like, listen, you got to stop whatever that is you're doing because it's messing up the microphones. And he pulls out a big ass plastic bag full of candy. Full of candy. What are you doing, sir? And Amy's like, listen, we can't have that here. We are on diets. You gotta, you gotta cut that out. That is not good for us. And Jerry's like, oh, well, I love sweets, so I have to have them. I'm sorry, what? And then on top of this, I'm like, so did Tammy request this? Because I don't know if y'all remember, but she swore to that therapist that she didn't like sweets, that sweets were not the problem. But your man is coming over with a big old bag of candy? Listen, listen, listen. Shit is not adding up, <laughs> okay? Shit's not adding up. So anyways, Amy's pissed about the candy and I, honestly, I don't blame her. Honestly, truly, do not blame her. So then the next scene is them setting up for this trick or treat video. I, I honestly am still kind of unclear of what the point of this was. They, they're bringing out all of these sweets and this whoever and whatever. And I'm like, Amy, didn't you just get mad at, <laughs> at Jerry for having all these sweets? But we do get to find out from, from Jerry that 
his night with the Tammy the night before was amazing. Last night with Tammy was amazing. It was amazing. That's all I can say, it was amazing. So they're basically doing this challenge. They they have a brief fight, Amy and Tammy do. Something, something about Amy's face. I don't understand what the fight is, but Tammy does let it pass and she says this. Amy's pregnant, so I'm just gonna let it slide, not fight back. Let it go on like God. <laughs> Which did, did make me chuckle just a little bit. I was like, that's funny for some reason. I'm not sure why, but it, it's funny to me. And Jerry's like, listen, I don't understand why y'all do this. Like, what is going on? I can't believe this is a job. And I'm like, Jerry, I think you know exactly why people watch two, two women like Amy and Tammy eat a lot of food on, on, on camera on YouTube. Like, I... I think you do, okay? And that, that's not a judgment call on my end. I'm just saying, I think I think you could put one plus one together and get two. But Tammy sees herself with Jerry long-term, which is just, again, like, he has a wife, but then Jerry can barely answer the question. Do you see yourself with Tammy long-term? Do I see myself staying with Tammy long-term? Maybe. <laughs> maybe? Just a maybe? Sir, listen, Tammy's ready to to give it all up for you. <laughs> and you can only give a maybe right now. Listen, y'all gotta get on the same page. Tammy, Jerry, get on the same page. Tammy, more so for you, girl. Get on the same page as this man. Cause he's not on the same page as you. If if that if that little confessional told you anything, it's that y'all are not on the same page. So Amy has an appointment with Dr. Proctor, which like, oh my gosh, missed him. What a cutie. It was pretty uneventful overall. She explains the time that she went to the ER because she had Chinese food for breakfast, which still probably makes me inappropriately laugh. But, but I'm just like, really, that's what we did all of that for? And she does do a quick weigh-in and she's only gained like a couple pounds. She, I think before the weigh-in, she was like 288 and after the weigh-in, she was 290, something like that. And Dr. Proctor thinks that's reasonable. Her OBGYN thinks that's reasonable. And so he's just like, hey, listen, it seems like you're doing good. Get settled, have this baby, and then we can circle back after you have your baby and talk about like, further appointments and health care. Dr. Proctor does take some time to ask about Tammy and he is shocked about what happened after she left him and their last appointment. And Amy's like, listen, I don't know how she's getting this bad food. She's not getting it from me. She's not getting it from Chris. And Dr. Proctor's like, I'm not buying what you're selling. I'm not picking up what you're putting down. I'm not smelling what you're stepping in. So the whole crew decides to make an outing to some kind of Halloween shop costume place to get some costumes for an eventual hayride that we're gonna see them go on with uh, Sister Misty, okay? They're, they're gonna go on, which I love the name Misty. I don't know if I've mentioned that before, but that just really reminds me of like, people from my hometown, so love that. But anyways, they go to the shop and Michael is pushing Tammy around. And I'm like, the I'm thinking, what the hell is Jerry there for? Jerry, what are you doing? This is your woman. Come get her. Like, why is Michael pushing her around? And he is like struggling too. Michael is struggling and Jerry just sits back, doesn't offer to help. Nobody's offering to help. Like. I get why Amy's not offering to help. She's pregnant, okay? She shouldn't be pushing around things like that. Like, but Jerry, what are you doing? What What exactly do you do here, my dude? My sir, okay? And Amy, as I'm thinking all of this, clarifies that Jerry could not physically do it because in her words, it's 600 pounds of dead weight and Jerry would break like a twig, which like he is looking real gangly and slim. So, I mean, I guess, but I also just don't know why you couldn't even offer to help. Between, between Jerry and Michael, y'all could have pushed her. Y'all really could have. Teamwork makes the dream work. 
So ultimately, Amy picks out this like 50s girl looking costume because it has a poodle skirt and she likes the dog. <laughs> and they get this 6X bat costume for Tammy, which I was actually truly living for. Love, loved Tammy as a bat. And then Michael and Jerry leave to go find some costumes that will match them. And we get a little heart to heart one-on-one -on -one combo moment situation type of deal between Amy and Tammy. Tammy is a little bit concerned that, you know, Misty is gonna go off the handle because she's uncensored. I am a little afraid that Misty's gonna have a problem with Jerry and she's got mouth diarrhea. Which it kind of seems like that's everybody in their family, so I don't know why she's acting worried about that because he's already dealt with with Amy so and you to be quite honest so I think it's gonna be fine. Amy brings up that she's worried that if Tammy and Jerry ever want to go on a date alone they're never gonna be able to do it because Jerry won't be able to push her around and I was kind of thinking like yeah this game seems kind of like a like a I don't know like a wake-up call kind of a moment because it's like this should be motivation. You should have motivation now to go out and do things with your boo. <laughs> like, you should want to be able to go spend some one-on-one -on -one time with him without having to have Michael there to push you around. And Amy basically says that as well and on the show. So Amy and I on the same page. There's also this moment where Amy, <laughs> Amy asks about how stuff has been in the bedroom. It mentions that she could hear Tammy screaming through the walls. <laughs> I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine. I love having my apartment to myself with my partner. I cannot imagine sharing it with like my brother, for instance, and having him hear anything. No, no ma'am, no sir. Th to me, that's the embarrassing part. Like people, people have relations like that. That's a normal part of life, but I'm not trying to have my family hear that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so then we get this clue that like Tammy has something to share with Jerry that she hasn't shared before and that it's a secret. And Amy kind of says something that's like, oh, you know, it's like, this is acceptable now. It's not like back in the fifties, like this poodle skirt. And that's what leads me to believe that this is kind of going to be a secret about her being bisexual, which like, I don't know how Jerry doesn't know because all of the internet, I promise you, has known. Well, not all of it, but a large chunk of the internet has known. Obviously, the whole chunk of the internet hasn't known because somebody messaged me and said, hey, Zach, look, she's bi. And I'm like, I know. But I digress. So finally, Jerry and Michael come back. Jerry's going to be a vampire and Michael's going to be the Dollar Tree version of John Travolta and Grease. And you love to see it. So the next scene is them all getting ready for the hayride. Misty's coming over. She mentions she's nervous to meet Jerry because, listen, Tammy's been in a lot of online relationships with people and these people didn't treat her well. She's been catfished and ghosted. I don't know if actually Misty said that, but I, that's just something that I know that that's happened to Tammy. And so Misty's concerned. I'm still living for Tammy as a bat and Misty's coming in in her little flapper moment situation and she's trying to strike up a conversation with Jerry and he's being quiet and awkward as hell. Like not saying shit. And then they go and they load up into the car and y'all this was just a lot. This was a lot and like Again, Jerry's just sitting back watching, not helping, not doing shit, okay? Not doing a lick of shit. And Misty is getting, like, nervous because, as she says, Tammy is wallering on into the van, just wallering on in and struggling. She looks like she's in pain. She looks miserable. At one point, Amy says, are you okay? And Tammy loses her shit. Ow. You okay? Hey, shut up! <laughs> I just asked if you were okay. I can't sh and I'm just like, sis, chill. Like your sister just cares about you. She just is concerned that you're you're hurt or something happened. Like, oh. Sis, this is an it. This is an it. Be nice to Amy. She's pregnant. Let it go, my God. 
So that was a whole thing. Then they're driving to the hayride, and that's when Misty, Misty starts grilling. Because apparently in the Slayton family, all your siblings have to grill your new partner. And so Misty's grilling him, and... You know, I, I think her her questions are much more pointed than the questions that Amy was asking. She's basically like, how did y'all meet? What are your intentions? Are you trying to are you trying to do something? Are you trying to stick around for a long time? Tammy's like, well, I'm trying to talk Jerry into a ring, to which Jerry says nothing. OK, he, he does not respond to that. They talk about the BBW stuff again, and Misty's like worried that Jerry is trying to keep Tammy big. And so she asks him, point blank, period, <laughs> if Tammy having weight loss surgery is something that he supports. And he kind of like mumbles something. I don't really remember what his response was in this particular scene because Amy very quickly says, well, if not, it's going to be a short relationship, which like according to who? Because I don't think Tammy really cares, but I think that Amy and Misty and company would try to put a stop to it. But also maybe what she really means is something she alludes to later in the episode, which is like, Listen, if he doesn't support her weight loss, then she ain't got much time to live. So it's like, this is going to be short because it's about to be over. And that's also very grim and like makes me sad to think about as well. So they get on this actual hayride and listen, I'm not a man of God, but God bless Michael for pushing Tammy around everywhere when this woman has a, has a man that's right there that could be helping and just stands back and doesn't do shit doesn't do a lick of shit. It drives me nuts. It drives me nuts that he couldn't help. And then Tammy's like, well, listen, he's used to my kind of struggles because he's been with other big women who have struggled like me. And I'm like, well, if he's used to it, then he should have a crash course in it. He should have some muscles built up. He should be able to push you. At, at a minimum, he should be able to help Michael, okay? <laughs> That's my thoughts. Listen, I... I said, I don't think this episode painted Jerry out to be like a great partner human and off camera he might be. I'm just saying that as a disclaimer, maybe he is, but like him just standing there not helping a single person and then us constantly being reminded that he would like to see Tammy be bigger forever. like. It's just a lot to take in, and I, I want to support love. I'm a big fan of love. Love is love is love is love, or something like that, I think is what Lin-Manuel Miranda said, but I just, like, also want you to, like, do something, okay? The whole ride itself, I guess, was maybe entertaining. I'm not sure. I didn't get a lot out of it. It didn't seem like anybody was actually genuinely scared, even though Tammy said this. Look, I ain't got to exercise. This is starting my heart for me. <laughs> I stop it, too. Who knows? And they seem to really want us to believe that folks were scared. I wasn't buying it, but it looks like they had fun, which I guess is what matters the most. I also am like... Y'all really? Y'all really going out on this hayride in the middle of a panini? <laughs> Is that what we're doing? But listen, I, I kind of have given up on, on them taking anything too seriously about the pandemic in this TV show because they're just going out and about everywhere and I, I'm not doing that. So, you know, their lives are just very much different than mine currently, you know? And I guess maybe that's okay. I don't know. So after the hayride, they have a little chilly moment and I don't know if y'all clocked it, but there were some diet sodies. And y'all know I like a diet sodi. And so my ass clocked it real quick. I was like, oh, y'all y'all drinking some Diet Cokes, some Diet Sodies. Love to see it. Now, Amy tells Jerry that he's got to cut the shit with the candy and bring it into the car. And she, or into the car, into the house. She even goes as far to say that he needs to keep it in his car. That's why, that's why my brain went to car. It was working faster than my mouth. She tells him he needs to keep it in the car and she understands that his metabolism is faster and he has to eat more. Bitch, no, 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 no. Cause first of all, first of all, we all know that candy is not just for him. He might be eating some of it, but you know he's getting that for Tammy. And two, if he's got a fast metabolism, eat some lean protein and vegetables. like. 
people with fast metabolism don't have a rule book where it says you have to eat candy and sweets. Oh, it surely does it. It surely does not. So Amy's like, listen, I want you to know that this is serious and Tammy will like literally die soon if she doesn't change her behaviors. And like, if y'all want a relationship, a long lasting relationship, Part of that includes Tammy being alive, you know? Like, part of that means she's gotta still be here for y'all to have a long lasting relationship. And in fact, like, she kind of even emphasizes that she wishes Tammy would prioritize her health first and then the relationship because, you know, you can't have a relationship without your health. Tammy also brings up that Last year, uh, Jerry said that he supported her getting weight loss, but that he didn't want her to get too small, which like he seemed surprised that that was something he would have said. But everybody was like, no, dude, you said that. <laughs> you said that, my dude. And I'm just like, what What do you mean get too small? Like, weren't, weren't, I don't understand why that would be a concern about like where Tammy's at right now. You know, like where she's at in her life right now. I don't think, I don't think we have to worry about that. So like, why would you even say that? And like, for you, what does that even mean? Like, what is too small for you, Jerry? I would like to know. So that was pretty much the end of that episode. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the, the spice that Jerry brought, even if he kind of like irritated me and made me upset. And next week, it looks like we find out that Jerry's bringing over some milkshakes for Tammy. And it looks like they're going to go on their first official date. It looks like Tammy's going to share some secrets. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, please let me know down below what your favorite part of this week's episode was. And if this is your first time on my channel, I'll make sure to include a playlist of all the Slayton Sister videos I've literally ever made. I've made a lot of them. And uh, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you get notifications. Uh, it really helps my channel if you hit like, if you leave some comments, and if you click the share button and copy and paste a link into some other platform, it, you know, it just tells YouTube people want to share this and want to see it. And also please follow me on all of my social media, including my second YouTube channel, which I'll leave linked in a pinned comment down below. I had so much fun filming this video today. I hope you did too. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.